to Let's Play L.A. Noir. Let's take a walk in Elysian Fields. Ooh. Oh, it's the Origami Killer. Yeah, it's too bad you haven't played Heavy Rain yet, otherwise this would be a lot funnier. I think I already know the big plot twist of Heavy Rain, just because so you have told me, You've told me, like, three ideas for your big twist of Heavy Rain, and you've gotten them all wrong. What? All wrong. Alright, I'll have to think of a better one. At least four Vicks. Get out there and find out what you can. So, big nasty house fire, at least four victims. Six, Let's go do our arsenal. All right, we got about four Vicks, we got about three Joes, and uh, at least one Jose. I think we bust in there. Uh, the tell you, it's depressing being an arson. I wanna, I wanna go back to burglary and robbery. Everything so, was simple there. I, I have, I have a question for you. I'm gonna pose it as a joke, but a legitimate question. Go right ahead. If you love yourself so much that you sell, set yourself on fire, are you a nars narcissist? Mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, back to the yeah, back to the drawing board for that one. Yeah, that that deserves a big kick in the arson. There we go. That's it. Yeah. There we go. It starts off. So uh, yeah, big house fire. What else? Or are we gonna find that out when we get there? Well, uh, we'll find out when we I'm get teasing. there. Uh, let's just, well, Tell me get there it. first. I noticed our, uh, partner doesn't exactly understand either sarcasm or humor or everything altogether. Well, I'm a little disappointed by this, uh, third act here. I really, I really think that Arson should not have been the last chair, the last desk that we should have been in. Because where everything was exciting and, you know, amazing and homicide, everything just kind of feels just kind of dead. And yeah, a lot of the revelations that we've been doing for the rest of the game have been, you know, leading up to this. But it's the story of Cole Phelps and, you know, the, the flow of the story itself, it just doesn't, it doesn't work too well. Well, think about this. If we had gradually escalated where we went to, you know, uh, street cops all the way up to Vice. What would be the conclusion? Chances are it would just be like somebody shoots Cole Phelps and that's the end of the game. After the big old revelation. That's probably what the end of the game is. If we had your way. Oops. Nah, we'll get there. By the way, I'm driving in cinematic mode. It's, uh, I'm trying to find as whatever fun I can. I'm running out of creative ways to cause mayhem on the streets. Just light the creative fire of arson. Cinematic mode sucks. Why would anybody use it? Precisely. And they like have it, it in GTA as well, and it's just bad. It's bad in GTA. It's bad now. It's about as bad as that wheel right now. <laughs> it looks like it's about to fly off. It looks like a training wheel when you're going, like, 30 miles an hour on your bike. Or you know that, that one wheel that's always broken on your grocery cart? Yeah, it's like that. I don't know why, but I always have the bad luck of choosing the one grocery cart that's, like, fucked up somehow. It's, like, got a squeaky wheel or a fucked up wheel or something like that. Oh, yeah. I think that's strategy, where they just go, Yeah, you know what? Everybody's complaining about the squeaky wheel that they get. Give them all squeaky wheels. And this guy's going five miles an hour in a fast lane. Sir! I need your car! Please! Ah, <laughs> oh, come on! Help a guy out here! There, finally! Uh, wait, hey! Oh. Give me your fucking car! LAPD, I need your car, now. <laughs> he did not want to give you his car! Uh, come on, Biggs. First, I want to see what this guy's up to. Where's he gonna go now that he dropped his friend off? Is he gonna follow him, or... Let's find out. Now he's running. Yeah, now he knows. <laughs> Coward. Anyway, back to cinematic mode. Duh. <laughs> Son of a bitch. And that's how the episode ends. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> well, what's with the somber music in the background? Because it's LA Noir. Ooh. Kinda works better on an overcast day or one where it's raining a lot. Yeah, seriously, it should actually be 
you know, a noir kind of setting. Rain at night. Speaking of noir, this house has been burned black. Oh my. Bla that's black with a E at the end, you know? Yes. L.A. Black A. Well, anyway, this you is the big sleep. house that we got. I hope you have strong stomachs. Yeah. Ooh, singed corpses. Oh, yeah, you know it. Hope you don't like to have steak right yeah, now. Morelli, Mike, we recovered a picture of the family. Okay. Eek. And in 2,000 years, yeah, when the aliens house. came down, they Especially saw this site and thought, Wow, they really liked sense. television before well, they were they blown up. Like the rest of the debris. I think they've been moved. So these Ooh. bodies have been moved. They moved didn't die like this. What? Can you explain so the explosion that? happened, I'm probably killed all four of them instantly in their house. Mm -hmm. or they, they, they inhaled the gas, asphyxiated, and they Look died. The their that aren't and then they were moved to this. It wouldn't have felt a thing. I think the fire damage is post-mortem. Mm. I think someone moved So they him choked, this room they moved him, and then they burned. The it still doesn't make any sense. Why would you run into a burning building? Well, let's take a look at them first. Yeah. Hmm. What are they doing? Lovely. Prayer effects. Let's see. See no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil. Track. Do no evil? Actually, uh, that's just called the prior effect, I guess, when, like, the muscles and the tendons constrict and tighten up, your arms just kind of do, like, you know, they kind of T-Rex, I guess. Oh. So this L is Lovely, of... right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a type of rigor mortis, I guess. Yeah, and here's a family unburned. Died in this world. And how you know, uh, have to be to the raw, them fresh them. product. Yeah. No, I have not. Show some respect. <laughs> find anything oh, find anything interesting? You know, except for the four burned fire. bodies right here in the living room. Exactly. What could be more interesting than this? Chews on popcorn. Boy, arson really is cynical. It doesn't explain why he ran into a burning So we got the guy the last time, but there's another fire with the exact same MO. Did we get the right guy? Did we, or did we get the wrong guy? He expects the houses to be empty. Is this a different guy or trying to redeem himself? Probably thought they'd be happier together. You are one very disturbed individual, Phelps. I know you had it rough lately, but you should start to compartmentalize your thoughts. You're out of your element, Cole! Can you come up with an that was a sick sure burn there, Biggs. Alright, <laughs> Biggs, the you'll find out later, them here like is my favorite partner. Might fit, Cole. Really? I, don't think I like him better than any of the other three little jackasses little. we've had. Ah, ooh, gross. Sort of shouts evidence and runs out. Ah, sure uh, breathe in. Yep, sure, that's though. some it's good father of the family. I bet you anything, his family died in a fire. And that's why he joined arson in a weird, uh, I don't know, ironic sense of duty. Well, let's find out. I mean, he's one of the only few partners we've had who actually has a sense of duty. So something finally got to you. You hey, Biggs, what's got you, you so got. small? You keep riding me, he won't be pretty much longer. We can get this guy, Herschel. You think you've seen everything, Phelps? I was with the second Marines at Bella Wood. Ah, uh, he was Things a Marine, too. Farmhouse. My own guy wow, is everybody in the city a Marine? Well, how ironic. All of his dudes died in a burning f uh, farmhouse, There's and now he's in no arson, where he deals with already burned farmhouses. Hmm. He's like, I'm gonna find the guy who did this, and I'm just gonna cap him in the street. <laughs> Let's just say burn him alive, but... Sure. Well, luckily, he's pretty helpful. Up. I can't even light cigarettes anymore, it just reminds me of the past. Boy, if only he was alive when E6 came around, he wouldn't have to worry about that troublesome fire. <laughs> that is the answer to all of his problems. What, smoke? Oh. Well, there's a couple of things to do around here. Let's do a quick little once-over around the, the house here, and what do we got here? Oh my god, a newspaper. Housing development burns, ex-serviceman irate as GI houses raised. Hmm. Does this have to do with the overarching story? How did you story? get my number, Ira? 
At first, I didn't understand you, but now I do. I'd like you to come back to the clinic. I'm helping other people now, doctor. I think this might be our arsonist. I haven't been to the clinic for weeks. I'm not confused anymore, doctor. I'm helping people be together. This world is only dead. In holy dead Dramoni. Why don't you tell me where you are? And I oh my god, I was you. right. I'm gonna save them I by killing the them. Should end now. They have served their purpose. Dr. Harlan Fontaine's uh, starting to fall apart now because now he's got an arsonist who he uh, healed with the drugs he got from the previous cases, and now he's kind of. He's kind of gone rogue. The world will burn. Everything will be wiped clean. Brush the ashes off the blank slate I will create with my fire. So, so what happens when an arsonist just doesn't have much fun anymore starts setting fires? What happens if he's just, you know, sick of doing it? Does he get to <laughs> burnt out? Ah! I was wondering where you were going with that. Damn it. There's one more thing around here that we need to check. There's one more hmm. evidence marker in this house before we head over to the neighbor's yard and see what he's going. Let's see. Anything around here? Oh, nope. Music cut out, so that's not the right place. Let's see. <laughs> you got anything? Nope. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Follow the music. Follow the music. What are you doing, Phelps? I'm following the music! Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Phelps, you you doing all right? Uh, you seem a little, a little crazy. Aha! What do we have here? Another burnt box. Insta heat same again. Same These guys dude. cannot catch a break. No, they can, oh, they can catch a break. All they do is break. And break and burn and pillage and murder. I don't know where I was going with that. All right, let's talk to the neighbor here and see if we can get some answers. Excuse me, do you have some answers to my questions? Yeah, is that what? It's a regional dialect. Like, like standing you uncomfortably close to him. Just like... Do you have answers? <laughs> Your hair smells nice. You know, it's actually really hard for me to do that when I have, like, tons of pop filters in my face. <laughs> <laughs> well, before we ask some questions, there's actually one more bit? thing that we uh, need to check. What's over here? Boot prints and cigarettes. Whoever he was, he was wearing boondockers. Wow. I would know that Those are anywhere. very well preserved. And cigarettes. Hmm. Cigarettes, these are the same ones that big smoke. I smoke Marlboro. D what? Oh. I was trying to pin it on you, man. It was just it's just a heavy heavy Fuck coincidence that Okay. Or hear anything that might have Look. We were asleep when we heard the explosion. Aha. Uh -huh. If you were uh, if you were awake though, you wouldn't you have heard asleep. it. You were standing over there by the fence watching the place burn down. I hope you didn't know they were inside. <laughs> As much as I didn't like that walk. Wow! I hope you have <laughs> Jesus! It's been a while since Cole's done some good old-fashioned accusations. Sorry. My mistake. Deadly <laughs> nowhere. <laughs> you didn't like Morelli, did you? I hope you know so what you just you accused me of, asshole. <laughs> Guess they gotta put it on up. somebody. I gotta get in the good graces of the, of the LAPD somehow. So he just starts randomly pointing his fingers at people. I love that. anyone hanging around the Morelli's home prior to the explosion? Nope. Nope. Can't say as I was looking out, though. Just an arsonist. Liar! Covering for someone, Foreman. Who is it? And I think you are off your rocker. How can you Whoa. make an accusation like that? Whoa. What proof have you got? Who needs proof when you have a gun? You're off the hook. For now. <laughs> you sure, Mr. Foreman? There are signs of someone hanging around over there by the fence. Hey, <gasps> now that you come to think of it, there was a guy. Mm. Very tall. Skinny, though. Anything else? Orange lumber jacket, beat up hat, and no hair. I thought he was the pest exterminator guy who was working around. Oh, my God, year. that perfectly describes that Roy. Okay, I know it doesn't, but can we still set him on fire? That lumber man set the, the house on fire. Why would he? he must know them. They're billboards. That Monroe character beaming down at you. We've had an offer for the house. Did the 
Morellis want to sell? I don't know. So it's Monroe guy. You obviously know everything that goes on in this neighborhood. This house was a, is again sell. part of the you suburban know, redevelopment well. fund and all and that. And so they they, 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 they want to cruise all that shit and all that whatever. The Monroe guy. Ask, you never find out. He's on all the advertisements for yeah, this contest. His whole family is dead. So hmm. maybe he's something to do with this. It's surprising really that all of these it. underground he schemes suddenly go wrong when Cole Phelps goes to the right the department. Was it for all of us. Well, not for the travel contest. Away. To Catalina Island? Yeah, that's right. First thing I thought after the explosion was, thank goodness they was away. Then I find out they were still in there. Who was running the competition? What? I don't know, some arson hole. <laughs> Bullshit, you lying fuck! I think you know plenty about the competition, Mr. Foreman. <laughs> this time Cole Phelps uses both fingers to point at him. You! Taking place around here. That may or may not be true. You can speculate all you like, but you have no way of proving what you just said. Oh yeah? Well, hey, well, you are guess what? absolutely right. Absolutely right. right. <laughs> you didn't enter yourself? I'd already agreed to sell. The competition, the competition for is for people who it. didn't want to sell their house, so I was like, we'll get you out of the house and Thanks burn your house down anyway. Yeah. Sure. Mm. Hey, if you're but why? I competition flyers in the kitchen. I could get it for you if you like. That would be great. So Biggs, helpful as he's oil actually oil helping. Oil. He found an origami. What did you pick up? All the piece of paper. Looks complicated. Japanese call it origami. Can I take a look? Sure. Yeah, okay. Let's take a look at this origami or whatever. Let's see, let's Never unfold break. it, and... Oh my god, it's an arsonist manifesto. Phelps, Phelps. What? 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 Hey, don't break it. I'm not. I'm unfolding it. It looks like a waybill or a flyer. Hmm. Or what? Hmm. That's the Leland Monroe guy. He's on all of the, the billboards and all these uh, pamphlets. Gotcha. Case in point, here's the one oh, that he had. I see you already have one. Well, was, I mean, I just happened to find it. Whoa, what? It's the same so, thing. When did the oh, okay. Arrive in your mailbox? Same guy. It weeks. didn't have the this one was the in trip the ticket. When I got home from work right. Yesterday afternoon. Because it's easier to fold with a square piece of paper than a rectangular one. Correct. So, it looks like we need to talk to this Leland Monroe fella. Yeah, let's go straight to the guy on the billboards. What's going on over there? We've got a couple other leads to follow too, so let's go to the game well and ask people for help. Man, I really wish cell phones were in this game. I need an address for a property developer, Elysian Fields Developments. One moment, detective. How can I help? The address Fuck is face. North Avenue, Wilshire. Have a nice day, scumbag. Message. Oh God, even the phone Never lady message. hates me. So, Captain McKelty, our captain in Arson, yes, has a message for us. Here you are. Let's talk to him real quick. Commander? Blades on the Morelli farm. We're about to go and visit Elysian Fields Development. Ooh. Oh, perfect. Great. More higher up shit we can't touch. Commander, we have a line of inquiry. It would have been great if we didn't already have this problem to begin with in one of the other earlier homicide cases. Or what's advice? I don't remember. Might have been homicide, yeah. Good. Have a report on my desk today. So, Commander says before we do anything, run by him, but uh, he can go fuck off right now. We got stuff to do. We're gonna take the coroner's car. You check out Rancho Escondido. Who? You know the place? Sure. Corner of Fountain and Wilton. Let's go. All right, so let's go check out Rancho Ooh. Escondido, another suburban redevelopment place that's uh, headed by Elysian Fields, I think. There we go. They were also hit by a street by a string of house fires. Hmm. Oh, back Some... in the wonderful cinematic view. Somebody's really into just like setting this place ablaze. I mean, they're getting all fired up about it. Hmm. Yeah, I know. I'm a pain in the ash, aren't I? <laughs> well, your well, your your pun game is heating up, dude. 
<laughs> I only spit hot fire. Oh, God! Ooh, lovely red house. You're <laughs> squaring, like, everything. Oh, that man, he had a puppy. <laughs> you just separated a man from his puppy. I mean, he just bought it. He was coming back with pet food, and you just hit him. He's dead. Well, he's dog food now. No! <laughs> At least let his puppy eat him. It would be perfect. Yeah, you know, I I, I just uh, t took a look back at the corpse I left behind, and, you know, I, I, I ran him over pretty good, and, you know, looking at his body... Woof. <laughs> Alright, fine, you you win this one. And you're stuck. I'm you are still, so stuck. I'm still top dog, though. You're, God damn it. You're stuck. You're totally stuck. You're not no, getting out of this. I'm not... I'm not you stuck. You are not it's getting out of this. It's just a little... Come on, you wedged I'm not it. You wedged it. There. Okay, you didn't wedge it. I don't know how I couldn't get out of that, but okay. Anyway, this is uh, Ranchero Escondido. An entire neighborhood that was... Ugh, set the hell ablaze. Oh, I, I just realized. God damn. Sorry, it took me a second. New homes opening soon. Well, hell, well, <laughs> <about that. laughs> oh, they're they're really low price. The end of a nightstick than in a hundred cathedrals. Yes, there is more religion at the end of a nightstick because people keep saying, "Oh God!" Whenever they get hit by them. I'm not gonna tell you again, sir. Don't tell me when and how I can come and go on my own property. It is not. This is safe, America, dickhead. Sir. Now step back. Yeah, it's America, so which means we can punch cops in the face. Right? No, it's not right. No, that's not right. That's, that's, that that's actually very right. right. Anyway, I'm gonna that beat gets this, you sent to prison. Okay, beat this guy up first. You lost your hat already. Ugh. Oh, what a shot, man! All right, next. How about you, say? Now, boy, that unconscious guy's not gonna have a really good time. Oh, it's fell right on him. Mm. Oh. Uh, can I do that again? Oh. Ugh. I want to make it so that they fall right on top of one another. I'm gonna see if I can make that happen. <laughs> Just uh, oh, ew. <laughs> ew. Ah, a finisher. Good. That was lame. Right okay, there, so well, that's pretty good. Right next to each other. Just put the bodies right next to each other. Those folks were baying for blood. So. Let's take a look at this house and see if there's anything worth seeing. It doesn't look like it because there is really only one single solitary clue we can get from this burning wreck. I bet you it's one of them posters. Nope. What? Nope. What? Oh, is it one of those uh, those box boys? No. Whatever they are. Something far, far worse. You know how to? Do you know anything about architecture? A little bit. All right, let's talk about how you lay bricks. What do you need to lay bricks? Oh, uh, oh my, oh my God! How about some halfway decent cement that doesn't just rub right off? Order, like, yeah. Is that normal in a fire? And expect oh treatment. God! These bricks suck. Like the cement, the really cement shit, and there's barely any to hold them together. There's really nothing really that you know holds it together, and it just falls apart like that. Oh my God! Yeah, okay. So this, built this house cheaply. fucking sucks. Deletion and ruin my career. Let's bite the bullet and get on with it. Jesus. So all right. Now let's go to Elysian Fields, talk to Leland Monroe, and ruin our careers even more. Yeah, ruin our careers. <laughs> Honk. All right, let's see how well it goes for me to drive with the camera spinning around like this. Uh, I, I would suppose not very far. Oh, wait. We gotta get there first. Slam on the brakes. Okay, now let's go. You like to leave your mark, don't you? Yes, I oh, do, Biggs. Oh, wow. Yes, Impenetrable tree. Off we go. I wonder if uh, the driving and destruction physics have been updated in the remastered version. Hmm. 
Like, I wonder if you can, like, knock down trees. I wonder if you can go up certain slopes Ooh, now. Ooh, that'd be cool. Don't! Drive through all these brand new homes and just ruin people's lives. So, why build all these houses with shit, you know, components? Yeah, probably to just save money. And then set them on... It's, pro it's probably some sort of money laundering scheme or something. That's what I was thinking. It's a scam. I thought I was trapped in that for a second. Yeah, I thought you were too. Oh, oh. what's that I see? Take it, take it, take it, take oh, it, take it, take so it, take it. Oh, we are so taking it. Hang on, let me uh, build up to speed first. Wish I had a better car to do this in, one that was faster, but you know, I'll take it. All right, off we go. Go! This is like one of the stunt jumps in GTA 5. Let's do it! Uh, oh, that was kind of anticlimactic. Mildly so, yes. It made you feel better, though, right? Wish I would have hit a cable car, though. Would've been cool. Or, you know, skipped off one and jumped onto the roof. <laughs> All right, oh. well. Oh, for God's sake. What? There we go. That's right down there, around the corner. Need to get there first. Your car's pulling a bit right. Damn. Yeah, well, my car's a little conservative. Here we are at Elysian Fields. The next time in Elena War, we're gonna head inside. <laughs>